Last time we had our first potluck slash goat barbecue slash techy bar experience at Hog Key and we made fast friends with gorgeous Woody. This time we got ourselves to beautiful Mayis, went on a wild dinghy trip and sat on the biggest chair I've ever sat on. Experienced our first rake and scrape and RPC still had a very good time with our dear friends. We are two crazies from South Africa, that's Frick and Pietru. We decided to chuck it all and we are now living and sailing full time on our new home, Sisu. We are sailing! And no, we won't drink. Sorry, we're not sailing. <laughs> so Pietru is busy with the next episode. It's going to be epic. And we are... We just left uh, Johnson's Key, very beautiful place. The wind is predicted to, to shift a little bit to the northeast. Um, we are going 10 degrees off north to the eastern side, so hopefully the wind will change a lot. It is now currently at 26 degrees, so we need 10 more degrees, then we can start sailing. So no sails up there and as you can see the wind is very very much on the nose but it's actually not sail it's it's getting sailable i'm downloading the new weather via the iridium because i see all these clouds here and, and there's a blow predicted and that's why we're taking a shortcut and try to reach a sheltered place for for this blow i practiced i practiced making a hole on a on a very small one one of the you can see still a lot of sand in it so Now we need a big one. <laughs> and the no is a big one. Peter got this in, in Grenada. And it's still not chopped off. Yeah, it's like strong. No, it doesn't come off. No, I think that's why they I think when they knock that end off they die. I bought these babies from the local fisherman there in Grenada because I wanted to get the captain his own blow on for when he got back from Iraq. And the only way you can get them out of those shells is to actually boil them. It took about 20 minutes to boil and voila, it came out very easily with a fork. Higher and higher, I'm gonna raise when the lip flares out like that, they've normally reached adulthood. The conches are native to the coast of the Caribbean, Florida Keys, Bahamas and Bermuda. Rather than swimming, they use their foot, which is called the operculum, to lift and then throw their bodies forward. It is also used as a defense mechanism and act as a lid to open the shell's opening. Up to 10 million eggs can be laid by one single individual. During the first year of life, conch live under the sand during the day and only come out at night to feed and they live on plankton. The queen conch lives for an average of seven years, but it's also known that they can live between 20 and 30 years. Pretty ugly looking creatures, eh? But hey, don't judge a book by its cover, because those covers sure is pretty. The, the locals already got to this one, and I take the, the, the conch out, and they make conch fritters and conch oil downs and conch salad and conch oil, everything that all the tourists is eating but they kill a couple of million of these things. Uh, what did we say? We said we're going to get to my internet. Look, it goes out. This is big. It's a very big one. Happy fingers. Give me a feeling. So I got 14 portions out of that one and it was hardly in the freezer and we caught another one. So 
So the sun is setting. A couple of minutes ago, increased the, the, the RPMs on the engine. And we are already 5.5 meters deep. And it's going to get just more and more treacherous. But 22 minutes to get to this point, And then we need to find an anchorage somewhere there. So we anchored out just outside of the cut to be in time for the early morning high tide. I'm gonna reach you. So just for in case you say, but I do have a, a camera there on the spreader. Um, this is the camera and you can see, I can see this, the wind speed, speed over ground and now depth. But this is the camera so you can see there's a big glare from the sun. Even though I put Polaroid on, so I cannot really see in front. This boat over here, Sparkle Fish, he said he wants to go first. Now you can see my forward looking camera is working quite good on that side. We just went through the cut. And just for perspective, this is Little Exuma, the island itself. And there's great or big island, the great Exuma island over there. And then this is the Exumas. Yeah, this is where we are. So I think you guys can now see more or less. I always wondered how this will work. And now I can see. Look at that. Scatamaran with two masts, one forward, one aft. Pretty wide or broad mast. But Basically two Genoas. And the captain just had to call this boat because he was bearing down on us. So just reminding him that we are a sailing vessel and if his intentions are to follow Corex. It is a very gloomy day and um, the wind is blowing and all the guys this morning on the net was requested to do an anchor dive and make sure all the anchors is good and a mooring ball broke broke loose last night and the a cat collided into another catamaran Next morning we went Bandera shopping for Frick and we wanted to have lunch at a local little restaurant but the flies carried you around. So we landed up going back to a restaurant where at least we knew what we were in for. No pina coladas. Nothing creamy. Oh, no, nothing icy. And it's super hot. <laughs> We had the most amazing sushi for lunch and I left Frick behind to have another beer or two while I went provisioning. Yo. 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 This is a lot of bags. Wow. Wow. We got, got some, some avos. Look at this little avos. I mean, and this I need to taste this, now. This bacon. You bacon want to taste it? <laughs> you couldn't wait. Yeah, but because it's dried and it comes in in a. I thought we should put it on top of this with eggs. I want to. I want to. Mm. I want to. I want to. It should it taste nice. And not in the fridge, it's off the shelf. It's like a herb or spice. Mmm, this is very nice. Smoky. Mmm. Mmm. Very nice. This is very nice. It can go on avo and egg, right? And you cannot sit and eat it out the bottle. But no. You gotta go on something. No. 
you. I'm watching you. No. I am no. watching you. Where do you where do you store that bottle? You're going to hide no, it. Where, no. where are you hiding no, it? No, 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 no. I'm watching you. I am watching you. Let's go. Rough dinghy ride. We first stopped at the beach club. It was recommended they serve awesome cocktails. But contrary to what Google said, they were not open. Spectacular views, awesome lunch. It was really worth the dinghy trip. We were hoping that High tide and low tide and all of that. Uh, it's low tide. Typics it's lower hanging. tide. Typics it's typics hanging. hanging. Oh my golly gosh, goodness. So we've got a very tight dynamo line. So I don't think you must get in, because then I won't be able to loosen it. Wait, say that again. Don't get in, I won't be able to loosen it. You're going to drop typics down in the middle. Look how tight it is. So I think you're going to have to undo it. This is too tight. This was now a very nice place. Blue. And we are heading home. The sea state is not that bad. So I think the wind is subsiding a little bit. But it's still at 2.6 miles that we need to do. So hold on. We are going for a ride. If you guys can remember the video of Union Island where we went to that bar that's built on a conch island. Conch, conch, conch. Conch shell island. Conch shell island. So happy island. This looks like someone is busy making a similar island. We saw a couple of times dinghies coming here and dropping off these conch shells. So I think they're busy building a new bar. So very soon, I think, this will become another happy island. Story of Happy Island, initial stage 2002, is when he started. 2003, that's the foundation of the island. And in 2004, the challenges got me. 2006, it just went on and on and on. So that is John T. He's the owner, operator and builder of Happy Island. What he did is he went and collected conch shells all over the island from all the little restaurants. And then he built this entire bar on top of the conch shells. So we're going for a rap and scrap, a rape and scrap, but that, that doesn't, that doesn't come out good. What was it? What are we going for? Rake and scrape. Rake and scrape. And we thought it was a speciality dish of the place, a big one, it's music, a band or mu type, of, type of music, whatever. Are we on your blog? <laughs> You're going to be famous. <laughs> All right. I want to be famous. We are the rank and scrape. Just check this out. is that it it was washing day today lots of stuff I want to show you guys yeah we're busy sailing again and so I looked at Paul Bardenos very good friend that has done already hundreds hundreds and thousands of miles crossing the Atlantic almost like 50 times so it's a, it's a double bungee that you tie to the top and the top one you bring back and then another double bungee going forward below the top one so you can see it's pulling it and even though we had a very nasty swell cross swell 
The Gaudi is like staying longer full. We left uh, Elizabeth Harbour this morning, Georgetown, so we're now on our way to, to Nassau, but it will take us a while to get there. So we are approaching a cut. We are going through this cut here, Rat Key Cut. There's a few considerations that we took, and this is the current. Oh, there's another guy that just went in. So if we are now approaching low, low tide, uh, actually mid on our way to low tide, so all of this water needs to get out. So that cut over there is going to be a little bit busy with a current. So we could have done this one or the otherly cut like these guys are doing. But we will arrive there maybe an hour later and if we arrive an hour later the, the this water flowing through here will be even more but that's not just all also all of these banks the water from here will be flowing out so it's a lot of water while the one just in front of us this main island may help block the banks to flow through here Okay, I think, can you see the throttles? Okay, manual mode. I'm a pilot, I can do this. I'm a pilot, I can do this. I'm a pilot, I can do this. Okay, so we have to go through there. Tiny, look at the breaking waves! So we came to this gorgeous little beach and there it starts and there it stops and we decided we're gonna come to we'll have a pina colada while watching the sun go ah, down wind. look at that awesome colors but we're somehow battling to get our fire going Ooh. That is not very true South African now. Breathe! Don't breathe! Maria giving instructions, yeah? I am watching. A Greek woman giving instructions to a burki. <laughs> Have you ever heard this? You tried. <laughs> you tried to do it the healthy way. I don't want you with your face in there trying to breathe and blow. How do you breathe and blow? <laughs> it's impossible. Oh, I can hear it crackling. I can hear it crackling. So something is working. We've got a serious plane here. <laughs> okay, so we forgot to use this camera as well. We took photos and everything, but there's the fire. But, yeah, I only saw a green flash. But it's time to go. The moses is starting to come out. And I don't come out in pairs. I come out in swarms. And that's a wrap. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. We really appreciate that. And stick around for more fun in the Bahamas. Oh, by the way, can you see the green flash? Can you see one? <laughs>